Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today we're gonna to continue to talk about AG1 powder supplement. And today's focus is gonna be on four different water-soluble vitamins that are much, much higher than the recommended daily value. Whenever I see really, really high amounts of vitamins and minerals in any sort of supplement, it raises some alarms for me, and I just wanna look into whether that could potentially be harmful to your health. The interesting thing about water-soluble vitamins is that your body has a mechanism to help control the amounts in your system. So with water-soluble vitamins, if you have too much of it, you're just gonna pee it out. But that doesn't mean that walking around with really, really high levels of certain water-soluble vitamins is good for you. So let me talk about four specifically that I had some concerns about just because the amounts are really, really high. So the first one is vitamin C. AG1 contains about 467% of the recommended daily value. So that means it's about 4.6 times higher than what is recommended for a healthy male adult. Really high doses of vitamin C have been linked to an increased risk for kidney stones, especially in men. So if you have a history of kidney stones, I would possibly be cautious about taking high doses of vitamin C. Vitamin C has not been shown to prevent colds or reduce the risk of cancers. Okay, so next up is vitamin B12. AG1 contains vitamin B12, that's 917%, which is of the recommended daily value, which would be about nine times greater than what's recommended. But what's great is that really there aren't any adverse effects that we know about with having really, really high doses of vitamin B12 in your system. I often have a lot of patients that use vitamin B12, either supplements or injections to help with energy. I don't usually do that unless their vitamin B12 level is low, but I know, but I know a lot of patients really swear by it. Okay, next up is biotin. AG1 has 1100% of the recommended daily value or basically 11 times the recommended daily value of biotin. No toxicity or harm has been shown by having really high levels of biotin in the blood, but it can affect thyroid testing. And it also can affect other tests for things like troponin levels, which is what we usually do after someone has chest pain to see if they've had a heart attack. It can affect testing levels of digoxin, ferritin, testosterone, and BNP, which is brain natriuretic peptide, which is something that we check in patients with congestive heart failure. And it also can affect testing of progesterone. So if you're gonna have any of these tests done, it's recommended that you stop your biotin supplement 48 to 72 hours before testing. Now, what my concern is, is that if you go to the emergency room because you're having chest pain and you get a blood test done to check for troponin and BNP, those levels may be off because you're on this biotin supplement and you don't know to stop it because you didn't know you were gonna to go to the emergency room. So I think it's something to keep in the back of your mind. I also have many patients that are on thyroid supplements and I check their thyroid levels frequently and I need to remember to ask them if they're taking any supplements, especially biotin, knowing that that can affect their thyroid testing levels. And lastly is zinc. So AG1 contains 136% of the recommended daily value. Zinc has gotten a lot of press in the past about using it to prevent and treat the common cold. I think the data is really mixed on that. I don't tend to recommend that to people because it can cause a bad taste in your mouth and sometimes can cause nausea. But I know a lot of patients that use it and they like it and it's hard to take too much of it. Really only levels above 100 milligrams have been shown to be problematic and AG1 only contains 15 milligrams. Okay, so that concludes my thoughts on the high doses of water-soluble vitamins that are in AG1. Some I'm okay with. Really, the one that stands out to me is biotin, just because it can affect some blood testing, and vitamin C if you've had a history of kidney stones. Thanks for joining me. Continue to watch if you're interested in learning more about AG1. Next up is going to be a discussion on some really unusual ingredients that they include and my thoughts on that.